guys! Welcome back to my channel. So fall is here guys. Summer is officially over. It's time for back to school, back to work. So if you want to see my go-to work makeup look, then keep on watching. Before we get started, if you don't know me, my name is Terry, and I do honest, no high product reviews on my channel. And every now and then, I love to do a makeup tutorial because that's what I enjoy doing, trying new makeup products, trying on different kinds of eyeshadows, and just playing with makeup. Today, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial suitable for work. We're gonna try to make it quick and easy. And so yeah, let's get started. Depending on how my skin is feeling that day, I like to put a hydrating primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Really like this, um, especially in the winter months when your skin is feeling, you know, parched and dry. And then I like to go in with a BB cream. BB cream or CC cream, something that has all the skin benefits. You want an all-in-one foundation or even BB creams that is going to keep you hydrated, keep you looking fresh all day long. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte. It's a newer launch from CoverGirl and I love it. If you're looking for a BB cream, this is it. It has very, very good coverage and that's what I love about it. It feels refreshing on the skin, but it has that coverage and I'm surprised. It's not like all the other BB creams that I've tried, this one can actually cover up my blemishes and that's a big thing. The only challenge with drugstore products is finding the right color for you, but it gives me a really fresh canvas to work with, right? It just evens out the skin tone. It takes out any of the redness, any of the dark spots. I've seen it cover my blemishes. Next item is a concealer. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I have it in the color medium dark. <laughs> All of a sudden, I didn't know where to look. So concealer, guys, is your secret weapon to an early day at work. It hides all of those tired looking eyes, dark circles, any imperfections that you may have. You wanna come to work looking refreshed, looking away, looking like you had a good night's sleep, even though you were probably, you know, up all night trying to get the kids ready for school, trying to prep for the following day. And then you gotta do it all over again. <laughs> and usually, you know, I can do all of this in about 15 to 20 minutes. And this look is a little bit more than, let's say, my five minute makeup look that I posted. So this look is kind of like you have a serious meeting to go to, maybe a job interview, and you wanna look a little bit more put together, you know? It's not the kind of look when you're probably planning to go to Target or to the drugstore or, <laughs> you know, run some errands. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but I guarantee you it's not gonna take too, too long. Next one is powder. My powder is the Ciate London Translucent Powder. And what sets this apart from all the other powders I've tried is that it has some brightening properties. It brightens my face, it mattifies my face, makes the makeup last longer, but at the same time, it brightens my under eyes. So I chopped off my hair again. Like I said, hair is kind of like my nemesis. <laughs> Um, I really don't like dealing with hair. Um, I like it simple. Like I want it to have body. I just did a flat iron on this. But back to the powder. I love this because it's really good at brightening the under eyes. So I thought about doing a work look because one of my coworkers said, uh, one day and you know who you are and she watches my videos um, She said hey, I really like your makeup look you have to show us a tutorial one day at work My looks are pretty neutral, but I love to always add a pop of color and that's what I'm gonna show you today The benefit hula bronzer. I got the caramel one so pigmented. It's so soft if you're a medium skin tone like me you could get away with the regular hula bronzer. Now they have at least four colors. They came out with a lighter bronzer before for really light skin tone um, folks. And then they added this caramel and then a deep color for 
darker skin. I can't live without bronzer. It gives your face a little bit more dimension. So as you can see, now I look like I'm alive. I have color. Let's do the blush. Let's do the blush and I have my Jouer blush. I think I'm gonna use Adore Me. Oh no, no, Hold Me. This color right here. So I like to go heavy on the blush because by the time the day ends, you're gonna look like the perfect girl next door, right? The blush is gonna die down a bit and not as, as strong or harsh. And plus for me personally, I take the kids to school. I'm ready by 6 a.m. I get up at 5 a.m. to get myself ready and then I make breakfast, prepare everyone's lunch. And so I really wanna make sure that my makeup lasts because by the time I get to work, it's already been, what, two hours? And you know, most makeup looks last maybe four to six hours at best. So next is my eyes. And with my eyes, I just like to define my crease. I have my dose of colors. Desi and Katie Frankation palette. With the lightest color right here, right here, I wanna put this on as a base all over my eyes and the inner corners, because I tend to have dark corners. And then I just go, you know, deeper and deeper and deeper. So at least two shades deeper into your crease. And I like to use a neutral shade or a neutral brown. You know, don't be afraid to take it high because it's a neutral shade. It's gonna blend with your skin. And then I go in with a slightly smaller brush. Now, if I'm in a rush, I usually just take two colors. So this lighter color here and then this darker brown right here. So when I have a little bit more time, I go in with like an, a warm orangey color depending on your skin tone. So you just gotta figure out what works for you. Either a warm orangey or warm raspberry color. And I just keep adding color to the crease. Kind of wing it out a little bit. So when I say wing it out, kind of extend the color past your eyes. And, and you can do that by just flicking your brush outwards like that. Nothing fancy. Full disclosure, I'm not a makeup artist. But I love, love playing with makeup. I actually have a cousin who is a makeup artist. I ask her for advice when I'm not sure how to do certain things. On an even smaller brush, I go in with the darkest shade. And I just focus on the bottom outer corner of my eyes. I'm not taking it in, just the outer corners. Here's where you add a pop of color. Depending on my outfit, I usually add a pop of color that matches my outfit. And I put that under the eyes right here. Well, hopefully you guys can see that. And then I go in with a small pencil brush and just smudge out the blue with the darkest color right here. Just so the blue isn't as harsh, I always like to have some kind of color under my eyes. And it's just so I can blend the upper color with the bottom color eyeshadow. And if you feel like, you know, oops, I removed the blue a little too much, you could just add it back in there. Let's take off the bake under the eyes. Now, if you feel like your blush is a little too strong, you can always just run your powder brush on top and it will diffuse that a little bit more. I got a kind of like an eye set from the Sephora collection during the sale. And I got a whole bunch of eyeliners from different brands. It allows me to try different types of brand of eyeliners without, you know, spending the money on a full size. And, and once I figure out what I like the most, that's when I go in and actually buy the full size. Let me know if you guys want a video, kind of like a battle of the eyeliners and see which one is going to last the longest. I, haven't found an eyeliner that can withstand my watery 
eyes, but I'm definitely on a hunt for that. So my brows, like I said, no one has time for that. And I bet when you're rushing, just get a tinted brow gel, guys. If you have a lot of brows like me, go ahead and just use a tinted brow gel and that will give you the definition that you need and the color. You can see the difference right away between this brow and that brow, right? And especially when you're in a rush in the morning, trying to get everyone ready, trying to get the kids ready and yourself ready, you know, you wanna try to focus on the things that your face need help the most. <laughs> Since I was blessed with fuller brows, then I can not worry as much on Setting spray, you need that to set your face. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter and it's called an All Nighter for a reason because it's supposed to make your makeup last long. Blot down the excess. Oh my gosh, be careful to not do this too soon while your brow gel is still wet. The sponge got the black from the brow gel and just stamped it onto my face. And that's why I'm not a makeup artist. But we all learn from our mistakes, right? So it's better to use a waterproof mascara. So it's just one less thing you have to deal with when you are busy at work. If I have time, I do the bottom lashes too. Let me get my favorite lipstick. And then last but not least is the lipstick, lip gloss, whatever you feel like putting on your lips. And I have the NYX Lingerie Lip Lee number 12. It's a matte lipstick. It can be a little bit drying, but it lasts forever. It's kiss proof, you guys. It might be looking like a little too bright on the screen, but it's not that bright. It's kind of like a warm terracotta red. That is it. This is my work look, guys. 90% so of the time I put on this look. Um, if you notice, I left the inner corners or most of my eyelids bare. I feel like that gives you the refreshed awake look. If you have time, you can also add a splash of shimmer, like a small shimmer in here, right there. Put on some earrings, nice simple ones for work. So that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and like this simple work look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As always, I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye!